What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we're gonna be talking about quiet stuff. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about this little baby. This is the 9x39. You've probably heard of it. 9x39 is a cartridge that was developed by the Soviets to basically be the thicker, quieter, bigger brother of 7.62x39. You can think about it as 300 blackout is to 556, what 9x39 is to 7.62x39. It's literally just a 7.62x39 cartridge necked up to 9mm to have a bigger, heavier bullet so it can be subsonic while retaining more energy than a subsonic 7.62 gun. You might know the 9x39 from guns like the AS Val or the VSS Venturez, things like that, but uh, very rarely do you see AKs in them. It has been done, but I kind of wanted to put my own twist on it, so we built one. It doesn't really have a name yet, but uh, this is just my little sneaky breaky AK in 9x39, so see how quiet she is. So fucking loud hitting that steel. All right, so this is actually a really fun little gun to plank with. So we're gonna keep shooting this, testing out uh, how it sounds with the can, without the can, uh, and talk a little bit about the gun itself, uh, what went into the build, and what makes 9x39 special. Before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Sonoran Desert Institute. I get a lot of guys who ask me, Brandon, how do I get started in the firearms industry? Well, SDI might be a good place to start. Great for anyone who has an interest in things in firearm technology, whether it's gunsmithing, firearm repair, or shooting sports management. Basically anything gun industry related. If that sounds like you, you might want to check them out. They have tons of online classes that make it super easy for you, so if you want to learn more, head on over to sdi.edu, go check them out. Thanks again to SDI, back to the video. Oh god, move to Texas they said. It'll be less humidity they said. Fuck, those bastards lied to me. Anyway, right, the gun. So, this build is a little unconventional. There's a couple reasons for that. The thing that you'll probably notice right off the bat is that this gas system is very, very short. There's a reason for that. 9x39, very low pressure cartridge, and it needs a very close gas port location to actually cycle. If you ever look at how short the piston and the gas block location is on the valve or the uh, VSS, very close to the receiver. Now I know what you're thinking, Brandon, I've seen AKs in 9x39 before, and it looked like they had a normal length gas system. Well, kind of, but no. So the way that people actually have gotten around that in the past, which is actually really kind of smart, is uh, they had the gas port in the normal location so they could run a normal bolt carrier, a normal piston, everything like that. God, those cicadas are loud. But they actually ran a gas port from around the rear sight block area and ran like an AR-15 style DI tube forward to the gas block to run the piston like a normal AK, because they were having to siphon off pressure from way closer to the chamber than uh, you could get out in the normal gas block location for an AK. You see, that's already been done before, but I was wondering, well, can we cut out the middleman? Because you know what already has a super short gas port location is the Micro Draco. Yeah, as you can see here, this little baby actually uh, started out as a century imported Micro Draco, which is the, uh, the super short shorty uh, 762 by 39 gun. It's honestly ridiculously short. It's less of a firearm and more of a flashbang, to be honest. But I figured if we take all the parts from that, which includes a shortened piston, a modified bolt carrier, and a modified uh, recoil spring assembly to account for having a, you know, a, a shorter distance here beyond just cutting it at the piston, kept all of that, but then pressed out and replaced the barrel with a custom 9x39 barrel that our boy Zach turned up for us, and, uh, well, could we actually get it to run like a normal AK? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> Obviously, it is a little odd looking uh, because of that. You've got a super short gas system. Uh, magazines don't have that signature curve. They're a little bit straighter. We're running a JMAC uh, stock on it here with a KOP mount for an optic that is not even remotely close to zeroed, but we can walk it in. 
Completed here with a JMAC Dead Air brake, which of course accepts the Dead Air Wolfman. So what you end up with as a final product is a weird amalgamation of a Soviet cartridge mixed with a Romanian-made host gun and a lot of American parts and just American old-fashioned, I would say ingenuity, but really just redneck gunsmithing. <laughs> you get this. So let's keep shooting it. All right, so I took the Wolfman off now, so we're gonna shoot this a little bit unsuppressed. Um, still subsonic, so you're not gonna have that sonic crack to it, but I don't expect this to be very quiet, so got Air Pro on just in case. Let's give her a shot. Ignore that terrible flinch there at the end, but uh, honestly, that really wasn't bad. That, that was, uh, I was expecting a little bit worse, so. Uh, even still, we've got a suppressor, and this is a cartridge meant to be suppressed, so put that can right the fuck back on. All right, so I'm not selfish, so I brought enough 9 by 39 for the whole class. Got some of my buddies here. You guys want to run some rounds through? It's significantly better than the last gun that I brought out here for you guys to shoot. I'll I believe you. And in typical the brand. branded fashion, it's probably not zeroed. <laughs> Why would it be zeroed? <laughs> Call that the AK guy slash demo <laughs> ranch <laughs> method. Imagine not landing every shot. With an unzeroed <laughs> Clean. Oh, malfunction. That didn't happen. That's not supposed to see this, yes? <laughs> Yeah, Optic brother. isn't zeroed. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, is this low or high? Low. It's low. Oh shit. <laughs> you just bounced around in the burning. Yeah. That is beautiful, my friend. That's well, I wouldn't say beautiful, but it's definitely it's quiet. Spot, but it works. Just like us. Yeah. All right, well, you know it's that part of the range video, so uh, time to do a white claw penetration test. So we got that one's that's odd. Said okay, so we're just gonna take out uh, one of these black cherry white claws and see how the nine by thirty nine does. White claw penetration test. Let me see. Try not to shoot over the burn, but also need to get low so I don't bounce it over. Three, two, one. Probably the quietest white claw disposal we've ever done. Just ripped right on through. You could tell a lot of pressure in there because it actually expanded out the entrance hole and very little out the exit. So that's actually kind of interesting. Probably just because it doesn't have that much velocity going on, but it's a lot of mass. So again, subsonic cartridges, you're looking at like a thousand feet per second. So not moving very fast, but definitely does the job. I love how much louder that steel sounds compared to this thing. But anyways, guys, this is just a fun little plinker. I don't know if we're done with it. I don't know if we're going to try to do more shit to it, but it's an interesting concept. I thought it was cool at least, and hopefully you guys did too, because I love this kind of shit. Anytime we're able to do cool stuff and kind of push the AKs to, you know, not necessarily even better places, but at least different places and just kind of, you know, show you a little bit of the, the weapon design portion of that. That's always super cool to me, but anyways, this video is really close to just turning into a giant shit post, so we're gonna go ahead and call it before it goes off the rails and just kind of plink around with our friends. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today, we're gonna be caught, fuck. <laughs> That's a great start. Thank you. Very insightful. You should run this fucking show. You probably know the 9x39 from guns like the VSS Vinterez or the AS. <laughs> I hear you, bud. You have to put a one in the chamber, buddy. <laughs>
I did. If you want to look cool at the gun range, make sure you wear mechanic gloves. <laughs> <laughs>